Hey guys, make sure you watch to the end. I'll be giving a shout out to one of our new subscribers. Before we get to the program, make sure to press the subscribe button and click the notification bell to keep up to date with our videos. Enjoy! Now, believe it or not, the purpose of this video is not to build the robotic arm. Well, not to build the robotic arm in the sense of actually making bones. Here you're seeing me squabble my way around trying to create a wrist function, and it's not going to be going too well. The functionality of this did not work out, and ultimately I scrapped it. This is more of a recap. If you remember in the last episode, we put together the entire hand, we put the ligaments on, we got everything set up, and you can see it right there in the video. Though, if you actually want to go back and watch that, you can go ahead and take a look at it right about now, in the top right hand corner. Right now, what we're doing is we're kind of just going to go ahead and do a little bit of a recap. Today's episode is going to be about creating muscles. Though there are many ways to make muscles, and I'll go into further detail with that in the future. But for now, we're just going to watch me fail at building a wrist function. And of course, when I fix this, and you'll see in the later video how I fix this, when I fix this, it will be able to ho hopefully hold a muscle. Right around here, I started to realize things were probably not going to be going my way. I was using a little bit too much hot glue to hold things together, and I was uh, losing out on a lot of motion. But I decided to keep trucking on through, and hopefully it would work out in the end. Sadly, it did not, but it was, it, it was fun trying to put wrist action on. Here, it looked like it might have been promising. It was functioning okay, and I got a little bit of my motion back once the hot glue dried. Here's where I put in the guiders for the wrist. These are basically just going to make sure that everything stays in its exact place and nothing, you know, gets caught up in hot glue or nothing else gets caught up in getting knotted or tied, and that would cause a huge issue for the robot hand. As you know, your ligaments are not tied together, and if they were tied together, that would be a big issue. So these are hopefully going to keep the ligaments out of the way so that we can continue our work using hot glue. Well, that's that. Now that you've been caught up with how the basic arm functions, we can go ahead and cut to me deciding to build a robotic muscle. It's going to be fun. So we're in a new location today. This is a different desk that I have. And as you can see, this is our amazing robot arm in all of its glory. It was fixed up and it's working much better. Except it doesn't work at all. That's a problem. We're going to fix that. So to solve this, we kind of need a muscle, but there are many different ways to do this, and most of them don't work. Servo is okay, it is precise, but it's square, it doesn't fit anywhere on the robot arm. There is the water muscle. This one, this one is actually a viable option, except it requires a lot of force just to push one, and there's nowhere to put it. It's kind of too big. So, that won't work at all. There is the smaller option, just a really small motor, or many of these stacked on top of each other, but it has no power. No power means nothing runs, it stalls, and everything's broken. It also it doesn't fit anywhere. So I did the only thing I could do, Google, and I found some amazing hazel artificial muscles I was ready to buy. These things were perfect. They had everything I needed. They were these amazing, stretchable, super powerful machines, and it was time for me to get one of these myself. I'm an adult. I must have them. I contacted immediately. Give me all your tasty muscles. Please. I will pay anything. Yeah, and by anything, I didn't really think it was $2,000, $4,000. And then I saw that to actually build them, it was going to be $15,000. So, I have a better idea. We're going to build our own. If you, just like they say, if you cannot buy, you got to DIY. So here are the parts I'm using. As you can see, just some acrylic glass. We got ourselves some good old-fashioned carbon tape. This is the good stuff, people. We have ourselves some double-sided, extremely stretchy tape, 
and carbon grease. Everyone loves carbon grease. So, we're going to put it all together. This is probably going to work out well. I'm setting up my area. Going to be doing some line drawing. This is going to be the frame that I'm going to use for the muscle. Just for the testing stand. The actual muscle will hopefully go onto a robot arm. And now it's time to go ahead and get to work. Take it away, past me. I have no idea what I'm doing. I honestly have no idea if I'm completely and utterly failing or if I'm actually doing this right. I, I could be blowing myself up. I can already tell. I can already tell. I'm going to blow up. I'll try one slightly longer. I already just wasted so much of the tape I got that costed me like $40. And I'm pretty okay with that. I'm, I'm good with that. I'm good. Okay. Carbon grease time. I have no means to brush this on properly. So I'll have to invest in that in the future. But until then... This should do. Now, take the leftover carbon grease and we just smear. So, so this recipe <laughs> calls for the use of eight kilovolts I've got no amperage I really don't want to have to use the 8 kilovolt thing okay so I'm going to use the 8 kilovolt thing uh, this is 8,000 volts of electricity which is, I don't know if you know this, extremely dangerous. I unplugged everything. Whoa! Jesus! My God! Oh my God! Whoo! Okay. Okay, so, oh, duh, that's, oh, damn, okay, that smells, it completely burned through the carbon grease, like entirely, I, I have no idea how to fix this problem, uh, so it was supposed to contract, that didn't work. Okay. I made it thicker and I made it round. So it won't ex hopefully explode. Everything's still off. <sighs> We're gonna try this again. And if it doesn't work, then I think I know what the problem is. Ugh. <sighs> Damn it. Burns right... Burns right there. Right there at the... 
connection point between the carbon grease and the copper wiring. Right there. Right there. Burns a hole. Right at the connection points. It just goes right through. Burns, burns, nothing contracts. This tells me that, uh, it has to be a much larger to handle the 6 kilovolt, or I need to drop the voltage somehow. Like, a lot. Like, a lot, a lot. Hot. 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 No. No. And our first shout out goes to UYI Alejo. He's a small channel with only 1.4 thousand subscribers. He makes some pretty alright content. Not as good as me, though. If you guys want to go ahead and get yourself a shout out, just go ahead and subscribe. I'll pick from any random person and then I'll give you a shout out. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.